my new old wheels for the Renault 4. Time to take care of the prepare the suspension. Sus, sus, time to prepare the suspension bits. Pushing from the anterior bar link. I actually do want to keep the original bolt. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna weld a nut over here, which got to uh, heat it up, and then I got a, a bit of metal, so then actually I can hold it and uh, get it out.
have my suspension beads blasted. Only problem is that between the time they they got blasted and uh, and I was cold and collected them, they already started to rust a bit. Not a big deal. They still have to be cleaned out with the wire brush or yeah or something like that before I paint them. So this surface rust will come off, hopefully. arms were blasted and and painted the bushes they don't look too bad but they they're they're a little bit perished Because the the multi-spline line here, you cannot push the bushing out. What I did, I used the air chisel. I pretty much mangled this by pushing the folding the the bits in until it's no longer roundy, and then it comes out no problems. Film it, film it. So yeah, so you have to be, you have to put those bolts in first, because otherwise you won't put them in after you push in the hub. And yeah, so now what we're gonna do? We're gonna pack in some berries. Put in some berries. Where are the berries? Film it, film it. So yeah, so you have to be you have to put those bolts in first, because otherwise you won't put them in after you push in the hub. And yeah, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pack in some berries, put in some berries. Where are the berries? Mold berries. See they come with the the seal here. As I did with the previous one, I'm gonna add a little bit more grease in it in it. Because why not? It should last longer. Forget about this this spacer. It goes in there. Grease. So. Do. We 
take the Haba Haba with the brand new disc. Here now we get the the sleeve which is which pushes on the on the inner part of it. Save our some time some spacer. Pretty much it. Now we're going to press in the bushings for, for, from the re rear axle, and uh, this is crucial to have the alignment right. The, the rubber bushes here have to be. pressed in exactly this way because otherwise if you if you get it wrong there'll be too much uh, it'll be too much strain on the on the bushing and that would just cause the premature wear and uh, similar thing With those, so luckily I have the picture of the how the bushing is supposed to be pressed in. So that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, you can find the pictures and uh, and uh, you can find the pictures and the uh, manuals or photo manuals how to press in those bushings. But uh, as far as I've seen it from the pictures, it's if you put the line between here and here, in the middle of the of the bearing, uh, yeah, middle of the of the axle here, to the edge of the bushing. This hole should be parallel to the to the line, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. about that much of a gap it's also very important to uh, align this bracket properly so uh, so I marked it marked it here and uh, just because this bush has to have a gap between here and here when I'm pressing it in I just put two of metal so it doesn't put as much strain on the on the rubber. Seems to be working. The 
back suspension is on.